Hello, welcome to Invalid.com. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to apply inline editing for your grid. So let's get started. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to make this title editable. This title and then also this um, visible. So first, we need to modify the JavaScript. Okay, so let's find the JavaScript here. So here, so we're going to make the title editable and also the invisible is visible. So what we can do here is change from false to true. Then let's go back to the page. Control F5. Okay. So now this title is now editable. and also this one okay let's go back to the javascript okay so first this is visible we have to um, insert type which is called boolean So we, this type should be boolean and then let's go back to the page again okay so if it is true it's tick otherwise untick now, in order to modify this title, we need to create a service. And this service accepts um, inline editing. So if I type something here, and then when I say save, this text should save. To the service so we have to modify the service and do necessary modification there so we have to go back to the javascript and enable the inline editing now we need to enable the inline editing okay so this inline editing is called update so um we have a service called topic and the method is inline so let's save this changes let's reload the page okay now if you try to edit this one Oh, one more thing we need to enable two additional um, two additional button in this uh, toolbar so we we're going to disable this one first and I'm going to enable only the button that is required for editing so in this code um so let's comment this toolbar and then replace with this save and cancel and save and let's reload the page so 
So now we have save and cancel. So if you modify this text, this um, title modified, and if you want this um, thing updated, all you need to do, all you need to do is say save changes. Okay. Or otherwise, if you want to modify, if you don't want to modify, you need to do say cancel. Okay. Now let's open the fiddler and let's check what are the um, content being submitted to the server. Okay, so fiddler is now enabled. So if I modify this one, modified one. And modified to if you press the save changes now you will get model 0 which is the ID and then the second one is 1 okay so now what we want to modify is this title and then um, is visible so in your service we have to add um, methods there called inline so this is the C++ code so in this code we're going to add another method called inline And then here we need to implement the inline. Okay, so here, so we have the connect service and the page controller and what we want to do here is like um, we need to get the value from models ID we need to get the ID and then we need to get the title so using the ID and using this get function we, we can able to get the the topic and then we can set the name we can set the visible and then we'll do the update so as you can see here, there's a looping here where the maximum loop that I can I can do right now is 20. But we can increase this one if you want. If you want 100, that's okay. Okay, so now let's save this one. Okay. So now let's modify this. modified one and then modified two and then save now let's refresh the page now it's modified okay So when you um, uh, click the save changes, that service will return in JSON format. So if you're going to check this one, and it returns inline update has been done successfully in the response is success. And the same thing for this um, visibility. Uh, let's let's hide this um, tooltip. To hide the tooltip, all you need to do is um, so.
so this is the easy way you can make your blog uh, visible to the public or if you want to change your title all you need to do is do it directly on the grid using this uh, inline editing so thank you for watching and bye for now